Hello, it's Getting Smarter with Mary T. And today's focus is on how do you animate an object in Smart Notebook. Let's get started. Here we have our directions, straightforward. We'll walk through it twice. So how does one animate an object? You create an object, or you can capture one from another file or from the internet. For our purposes right now, we're going to create an image. We'll take the shape tool. We'll pick a star, and there's our star. Click on the cursor button again, and this, of course, is now your object. You can decide to do what it as you will, and right now we want to animate it. So when you do create your object, if you click on it, in the upper right corner, of course, you have your drop-down menu of all of your options. We're going to focus on the properties because that will give us a chance to change the color, the line style, fill, and animation. So that's our focus right now. So if you're here on your fill effects, line style, or page recording, we're going to choose object animation and you get several choices. Fade in or out, flip around your axis, fly in or out, shrink and grow, or spin. So we pick shrink and go, choose that one. The direction, of course, is the one, speed, normal, slow, or fast. Let's do slow. When the object is clicked, now let's choose when the page is entered. And how many times do you want this to do it? Until the object is clicked, forever, once, twice, five times, ten times. Let's do it until I click it so that students and you can see this. Are you ready? We're going to go back to the first page. And then we'll go ahead and enter. And sure enough, that's our star shrinking and growing until I click it. And we've just clicked it. It is now again an object. It still will be animated when you leave this page and come back to it. Not that you doubt me, but let's test it. We'll move to another blank page. We'll return. Sure enough, there it is, shrinking and growing, just like we had animated it to do. Now, you can take advantage now of the transparent notebook feature to capture an, uh, an object from the internet that you can then animate. So let's try that. Again, working with the transparent feature, you want to create a blank page and then click this. And as you can see, with our toolbar, we are definitely still on our notebook, but we are now as well on the internet. The Authentic History Center is a great resource for history and government teachers. You've got audio, video, images that would be of great use to add to your files for student interest as well as enforcement. Of course, we know Yellow Kid from Yellow Journalism. We'll go ahead and take our screen capture tool. And as well, you know that you can precise corners with this one, the page, full screen. And then, since we have the Yellow Kid, we can take the more precise let's see where he end up we lost a little bit of his head but there he is now if we click on the transparent icon button again we're going to be back on our page so now can we animate this object and of course the answer is yes do you remember the steps in the upper right corner, go to properties, and then you get your choice of object animation. What would you like it to do? Fade in and out, fly around the axis, shrink and grow, or spin. Should we go with the spin? Clockwise or counterclockwise, speed is normal when the object is clicked, and repeat until the object is clicked again. Let's check it out. So, all right, yellow kid, can you do it? And then when I click it, it will stop in whatever position of the spin it's in. And of course, you can always adjust that with your... I hope you were able to learn how to animate an object. It's very simple. You can add interest, 
you know, expand your lessons for the students. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you next time.